Yo guys, and welcome back towards this new video here on the channel, and right now, we are seeing the market absolutely exploding towards the upside, so, it is definitely very interesting to join in towards the stream here, Bitcoin closing in towards 39.4k, well, we are seeing a lot of leverage is getting squeezed out of the market, exactly like we predicted, of course, earlier today, so right now, we can see funding rates are still negative. There's so much leverage, so much money getting used to freaking short this market that we were, of course, already anticipating another short squeeze to come towards this market. And right now, on the time of recording, we are seeing that Bitcoin moved up in the exact pause, let's say 45 minutes with more than 4% already. So that is absolutely a crazy move we're currently getting here. And holy cow the market is moving up even more quicker and like you can see this is the one minute time frame we're literally are in a parabolic run up towards higher levels right now in the imminent short term so we're doing a very strong job here on the bitcoin and cryptocurrency price section ethereum as well following towards the upside but still bitcoin is the asset that is currently outperforming everything right now here if we do look at bitcoin we can see several time frames let's see the one hour time frame so the two-hour time frame RSI trend is as well about to get broken over here. So it is actually looking pretty good for Bitcoin about what we're currently seeing in terms of the developments. We can see several trend lines are getting broken right now here. Could be leading towards more further price increasements. But the most important range to be looked at right now here is going to be this two-hour resistance line here on the top side. We can see clearly that Bitcoin got rejected by this range several times before in the market. And right now, before it acted as support... And afterwards, it acted as, acted as resistance. And right now, we can clearly see the market is once again closing in towards this range, currently experiencing a potential rejection from of this level. So I do definitely look forward towards how we're going to see this level getting reacted towards the market. But this is definitely looking pretty good here. Of course, we could be taking as well different approach on the market. If we're going to look at the four early time frame, we can be looking for a beautiful, beautiful inverse hand and shoulders on the market right now here, guys. We are looking for an inverse hand and shoulders what you can see in the far early time frame, we formed a left shoulder on the left side, we formed a hat on the lower side, a right shoulder on the right side, and of course, if we're going to be experiencing this breakout, we are going to be for sure see some more bullish price action come towards this market, and we are for sure going to be seeing some more, uh, yeah, higher targets going to get visited here on this market. So it is looking actually pretty interesting right now here, and let's uh, quickly dive in further in towards how we could be approaching and how we could be taking a potential trade on this breakout over here because yes the market is actually looking pretty interesting to be trading right now here of course you can clearly see hand and shoulders right now getting made on the market looking pretty decent to be trading towards the upside of course if we're going to look at the daily time frame we have been already looking several times before at a potential bottom right here we are really expecting that the market is going to be pumping up towards higher levels from this point since the market has been over leveraged towards the downside and since we are getting similar structures like we did got here in the 2021 summer low here we're seeing similar structures in terms of um of course, VPVR volume, we're seeing a lot of volume. Uh, we are basically trading right now on a volume support range. And if you're going to look at the weekly time frame, you can clearly see here the lower side. And let me take this different chart here. I've got a different chart prepared for you guys out there. If Let me see. Yeah, it's this one. Um, so what you can see on the weekly time frame right now, it is actually pretty interesting if you would ask me. Why is my chart not loading in here? I can't manage to be finding it. Uh, where's my chart? Ah, here it is. Excuse me. So... What we can see is that the weekly support has been found here on this volume support range. The volume support range was trading right to 31 towards 39,000 US dollars. This range over here provided very strong amounts of support on the market. And right now it looks to me that we're going to be continue our weekly uptrend. So it is actually looking pretty strong for Bitcoin in terms of accumulation ranges. I've been saying it several times before. I've been buying up leverage positions of Bitcoin. I've been buying up more Bitcoin myself as well. I've been buying up more altcoins especially since those are the ones that did to the hardest hit of course over here but this is definitely looking like a bet a good good opportunity here right now today um fake pump that's always what we will hear from a lot of people people always will say it is a fake pump but that is of course always what we do get uh, in the um in some stages in the market of course so right now still we are uh, waiting till we're going to recover back towards the upside because yeah we have been looking uh, at this uh, support slash resistance zone, we've been basically trading around it a little bit here. Uh, let me go towards a different chart again. I've been literally have no preparation, so I 
didn't prepare any charts there. Yeah, what we should be looking at right here is, of course, in terms of the daily time, daily time frame, is a, a breakthrough of the 39.3k here. 39.3k is going to be crucial to be breaking above here. 39.3k is a level that we have seen Bitcoin getting literally rejected from in the past five days here. And if we can right now see a breakthrough above that 39.3k level with a daily candle close, we can finally see a continuation getting started. And we can be finally see, of course, the market turn up a little bit more bullish. And we could be finally see the market, of course, further increase towards the upside. But so far, we're still waiting for the daily candle close above that range here. And like you can see currently on the imminent short term, we are literally getting rejected by this range right now here. This is the level of resistance we're running in towards. And this is going to be crucial to be breaking above this wall here. You can see as well, several times in the past, we've seen this level providing resistance over here in the beginning of December. Sorry, end point of December, beginning of January. Um, we've been seeing it as well over here uh, in June and May. We've been seeing this level providing a lot of resistance. And it has been providing a lot of support here in January and in September in 2021. So this is actually one of the most critical ranges to do hold on towards right now here. And this is one of those ranges where I do want to be seeing the market turn bullish off and do want to be seeing this level getting broke in today's daily candle close here. So hopefully we can see a bullish breakout right now here. Um... Let me see what we're going to see here. Even without preparation, still good enough here. Uh, eBay is announcing support for crypto. That is true. eBay is currently working on uh, a potential solution to uh, yeah allow crypto payments on eBay. So that's actually a very, very huge sign of adoption once again here. But still, a lot of people are currently fooled here about all the developments and all the fear and fear articles that we currently are having over here right now here. Um... Oh, but this is pretty interesting. This is by uh, by magazine. Power on the SEC takes uh, moves against crypto lending. Okay, that's pretty interesting. They're trying to uh, stop crypto lending, uh, of course, because then the governments or the banks do not have the power anymore, and the banks do want to be keeping the power. Uh, that is exactly what they want. This, so they will be definitely be against this right here. Um, but yeah, let's see the further developments and let's uh, quickly check up on the market right now here. Actually, the four hourly time frame had a beautiful retest on this market. Um, we traded below. Of this very critical range over here, like you can see, previous support resistance. Um, we broke below it. Then we saw uh, this level over here providing resistance. Uh, over here provided support several times. And right now, of course, it's all very strong bands from off that range here. So, oh, <coughs> excuse me. Looking actually pretty interesting, to be honest, if you would ask me. Looking very interesting right here. Um, to do do do. Let me quickly check up on as well some other altcoins. Bitcoin still uh, trying to be pushing up higher here. Uh, it, it did reach the 39.6k, closing in towards that 40k barrier. And like we do know, the 40k is in psychological level of resistance. Currently, if we're going to look at Ethereum, we can see that Ethereum compared to Bitcoin has been taking a pretty hard hit here on the recent hours, on the recent days here. Um, we've been seeing Ethereum falling 5% down compared to Bitcoin, what is in my opinion pretty heavy. 5% correction on Ethereum compared to Bitcoin valuation is not a thing that you see every single day. Um, what we do can see as well here is that Ethereum compared to Bitcoin is currently retesting very strong support. Um, previously around it did provide resistance and right now we could be potentially look uh, to see this level. Um, yeah, really holding uh, holding Bitcoin, sorry, Ethereum against Bitcoin up here. So if Bitcoin is really going to create some more volatile or if Bitcoin is going to right now cool off here, we're probably going to see Ethereum taking some territory and back here and probably continue further on with this push towards higher targets. Um, if we're going to still look at the daily time frame on the Ethereum chart here, we can clearly see that we're currently seeing a major bounce of the horizontal, uh, sorry, upper sloping support range. What we discussed early today in our update video we can clearly see that we are seeing a strong bounce and the most important levels of resistance are still waiting ahead of ourselves here. Mainly this downward sloping trend line from the highs is going to be very important to watch here. It's a very critical range here of resistance and it provided several touch points already with several rejections as well on the market right there. So if we could be, of course, approach this level and break above it, this could be leading towards a lot of bullishness, of course. So as well, we do have several levels on the market to look out for. But the main more main important level to be breaking here is going to be this downtrend on the higher scale here that we do want to be seeing a breakthrough above, of course. Um, so it's going to be pretty interesting about what we're currently going to be seeing from off this point here. Um, but Ethereum actually on the bigger picture looks like a major consolidation pattern. And what you should be, I mean, what I will be doing here is just casually wait 
till to see which direction we're going to be breaking towards bullish or bearish i will be trying to take a trade towards either direction so right now it's just still waiting game if the market is really going to come down here, I'm going to exit my trade. I'm currently only in a 10k profit here, but the funding rates are still negative. So indicating that it is still smart to be in this leverage long position. If the funding rates maybe will start to become positive again, I will be start to scale out of my trade. But currently what we can see is that liquidations are turning up. But most importantly, the funding rates are still extremely negative here. Indicating us that there are still so many bears in the market. And there are still so many people that are trading with their emotions. And trading the market towards the downside. While the market already is down 50%. So people are still... I mean, people, I mean, this is uh, this is always how it goes every single uh, every single cycle, of course, every single correction. We do see a lot of leverage, even though we already corrected 50%, more leverage coming towards short positions. And that is actually making me pretty greedy, because the more leverage is going to short positions, the more bigger chance we are going to get for a potential short squeeze. But most importantly, we have a better opportunity to accumulate a leverage long position. And that's, of course, exactly what I'm currently doing right now. Um, so it is doing pretty good here. Um, so uh, yes, yeah, it's, it's it's pretty important to look at. Could also have come because of the uh, CME. Yes, uh, we were looking towards the CME, of course, earlier uh, a moment ago. Uh, what you can see over here, if I open my chart where the CME is enabled, CME gap is currently filled here. Um, clearly, what you can see over here on the market is that we had a CME gap on the 38.9k, and we absolutely breached through it. And of course, right now we filled up the CME gap, and I can close it again here. So um, CME gap was indeed uh, was there, but right now is indeed filled up. Um, what I as well still want to be say here is that market is most likely certainly undervalued right now. I think the market is. Uh, undervalued that we can see is well stock markets are rising all markets were in extreme fear and since the fear is right now really cooling off a little bit away from here on we see markets tend to be yeah rising again here uh, of course we can see that gold is as well trying to rise back up here uh, the s p 500 is rising already earlier today uh, we've been seeing an approximately on this hourly candle we've been seeing a 0.6% rise for the S&P so that is actually pretty good here it has been open for literally 15 minutes right now uh, that is also why we are seeing more market volatility right here so it is looking pretty good here if you um, if you would ask me right here but uh, we're still going to be casually waiting on to see how it further is going to be developed in the market um, if we're going to really look at lower time frames we can see that we're stalling off right now of this uh, momentum wave we were seeing on the lower time frames a major market movement up here but slowly but sadly losing some strength on this movement towards the upside on the lower time frames of course five minute time frame still shows us we have more room to grow here but we are starting to become in towards overbought territory and what usually indicates a short-term peak here so bitcoin could be potentially of course uh, come down a little bit here create some kind of a flag and then increase further on or we're going to just even pump further in towards of course overbought territory so it is going to be definitely be very interesting Actually, if we're going to touch the 40k, I expect to see, once again, a lot of market volatility. Uh, 40k is, of course, a psychological level of resistance, but as well, it has been a sell wall, a very big sell wall, like you can see from the past hours and from basically the periods where Bitcoin has been trading in. Um, if we're going to be like a take up a ch clear chart here, we can see clearly as well that this is the 40, the, sorry, the 36 point, um, 39.6k level. Has been a major target of resistance for the market all time along. We've seen a major support, a major amount of support touches coming from of this range, but most certainly we've been seeing more rejections from of this range as well. But to take in consideration, we've already seen one, two, three, four rejections, and usually. The more times you're going to knock on a certain door here, the more likely it is that we're going to be breaking it. And since we're right now are starting to be forming a higher low structure here on the market. We are most certainly going to see more significant price searches towards higher levels getting started. And it is actually not looking all too bad right here for Bitcoin. Because the more times you're going to touch a certain level of support of resistance, the more likely it is that you're as well going to be breaking it. And right now, we just casually have to be waiting it for it. But as soon as we do break it, it's probably the, it's going to be probably be the sky that is going to be the limit for Bitcoin and its growth that it will be getting in up, in the upcoming days afterwards. So I am actually pretty bullish right now about how Bitcoin is looking right here. And it is looking uh, like we are going to be seeing somewhere. 
the bullish bright section. Uh, markets are all down. Uh, no, not necessarily. Uh, the S&P is rising uh, earlier today. Gold is as well rising earlier today. Uh, we've, of course, uh, crude oil is uh, is rising today. Um, we've been seeing Shell rising, Neo rising, Tesla's uh, rising. Even the Russian stock market is rising. Um, so markets are definitely up today, man. I see more markets being in the green than in the red. Of course, the Russian rubble is, uh, is down massively, correcting more than 14% uh, today here. Uh, against the dollar so russians are losing their their buying pressure massively uh also the reason why more and more russians are going to be investing their money into our store values so it's definitely very important to know so more and more money flowing into our store and values there are still a lot of altcoins cryptocurrencies that not necessarily are in the profit but maybe it will be coming in the coming hours ahead of ourselves ethereum right now is starting to gain some uh, territory back here compared to bitcoin um, as well, what's going to be important if we're going to look at Bitcoin, look at these demand zones I've been looking at for like earlier today and for a while yesterday as well. They are working perfectly. Um, we've been seeing several demands, several re yeah, resistance zones for Ethereum. But mainly what I explained in my video earlier today and yesterday as well, Ethereum's was, Ethereum was in a downtrend like you can see over here. Started an uptrend after forming a higher high on this market. Then started to create, of course, higher lows on the market as well. Markets start to be rising back up towards higher levels. And it's absolutely exploding right now. Holy cow. Um, 27, 200, uh, 27 and 25 already here. Um, it's growing in a very rapid pace. But Ethereum is forming a beautiful uptrend structure right now here. As well, we came down towards a range here. Um, demand range, I would say. Previous resistance range flipped into support as well flipped into support over here support over here as well and once again is currently providing support after this higher low is getting formed to the market and after this higher high is as well formed to the market this is looking like a perfect opportunity to see a further growth on ethereum we are in the perfect structure to create a further increase in the market and what is going to be crucial and what is going to be critical i should say is that ethereum is going to be breaking the 2820 us dollar barrier if we do break and if we can be in order to be uh of course, close on the higher high than the previous high that we did previously in the market. We are most certainly going to be looking for further increasement towards higher targets on the price section of Ethereum. So that is looking pretty good here. Hello, how are you doing, Muhalabi? Uh, hopefully, you're having an absolutely amazing day here. I think there's a short term butter bottom. I think the short term bottom is in. We see the 46k first. I mean. I think the longer term bottom is already more likely going to be in anytime soon here right now. Um, there are a lot of signals that are right now pointing towards us that the Bitcoin bottom is already in here. Uh, of course, I'm especially talking about on-chain data. And if we're really going to compare towards what the bottoms are doing on Bitcoin, we can clearly see as well right now. These are times where we should start to be a little bit more greedy. And we're forming similar uh, structures here in the market. Uh, we're forming similar low structures in the market. What could be leading towards a massive continuation towards higher targets again here. So, yeah, I'm pretty excited. And uh, personally, I do really think we are going to see an, uh, an increase from of this range here. Especially on the daily time frame on Bitcoin. It's looking, this is looking very sexy, of course. Well, because we've seen... The market forming a higher high already over here. It's formed here and higher on the market, confirming that we are starting an uptrend. And then afterwards, we create this one higher low in this market, confirming, double confirming, we are forming a higher low in the market. Uh, we could be even start to be approaching this like a W structure if the market is really going to come back up here towards these levels around 44,000 US dollars. But the market is actually looking very strong right now. And there are so many people still waiting to take action. But right now, Ethereum and Bitcoin are absolutely flying here, guys. We are flying towards the moon here 39.6k is getting time to stay on the market and we are trading literally against the most critical range of resistance on the market right now here if bitcoin is going to be breaking this level it is going to be game on and bitcoin is going to be seeing massive follow through towards the upside ethereum as well creating and outperforming bitcoin on the recent hours right now here on this hourly time frame i should say performing a little bit better than bitcoin is of course in my opinion absolutely lovely to see because ethereum did also took a little bit of a harder hit yesterday and bitcoin is going guys 
and this is exactly what we want to hear. The crowd is absolutely going well. The child is also going absolutely well here. Have we seen the Bitcoin bottom in your opinion? If you haven't already followed my channel, I've been seeing it for like the past week here that we have. I mean, I've seen it for the past two weeks here. And actually, if I, if I really are going to look at it, if I, I said it like two, three weeks ago already, it was actually a pretty good time to call the bottom already. So yeah, I personally think we are going to be, uh, we are very close. If the bottom is not in, we are very close. But I, you never know 100% sure and you never should scream like, this is the Bitcoin bottom. But in terms of risk to reward here, the chance is very high that the bottom is already in here. Um, because like I told you, all the on-chain data is, is pointing their fingers towards the bottom being already in here. And I'm exactly doing the same here. I personally have been anticipating it with my trades here because the leverage is getting currently used to freaking short this market and the more leverage is getting used to short this market the more i will be buying back in towards this market um so it is looking very good right now here and i will be casually add more towards my lungs more and more and more um uh... Let me see. Yeah, like the video, guys. It would be absolutely amazing if we could be seeing... Uh, if you want to be smashing up the like button, it will be definitely lovely to see right here. But what, uh, what is going to be the most crucial thing to do so for, for Bitcoin right here, right now here... Um, is going to see a breakthrough above the 39.9k um, with that one hour candle close here. And we're right now going to close our one hour candle, guys, at four minutes. Um, if we're going to then see a further increase, and if we're going to close that le the, this one hour candle above the 39.9k level, we're going to look so bullish here for the hourly uh, candle afterwards. So um, we're going to see it. We're going to just wait, casually wait, and see where the market is heading towards. Exactly, by the way, guys, this one-hour candle is a 4.5% candle here. That's absolutely crazy. Your $1,700 moved up uh, in just a matter of one hour. So uh, Bitcoin, of course, really moving uh, very quickly towards the upside right now here. And this is, of course, lovely to see. Of course, guys, if you're still interested in trading this market or whatsoever, um, if you're interested in accumulating Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies, make sure to check out Bybit here in the link description because that is where I do accumulate my cryptos um, with fiat and where I do trade the market as well uh, with my Bitcoins. So um, definitely very worthy to check out right now here. While well, Bitcoin is going and we only got another three minutes to go for the close here, guys. So close is turning up here. And this is very exciting to see here. This is very exciting to see, guys. So make sure to smack up, smack, smash up the like button for more good faith here on the market. Um, we are indeed flying faith. Fa. The love the excitement, guys. Yeah, I'm very excited because I am ready for this reversal in the market. And um, if we're going to be breaking this 39.9k level, uh, we're stepping the right, we're placing the right step in towards the right direction, of course. Uh, strong end of the mo monthly close. That will be as well very important because today is the last day on the monthly candle closing day. So let me quickly check up on how this monthly candle is even looking right now. So the monthly candle on Bitcoin is right now looking, yeah, pretty boring actually. It's not really showing a sign of weakness or strength there. It is closing in the green. That will be lovely if we could be even closer further on towards the upside. Um, but it's definitely a pretty neutral candle. Of course, big wick on the top side still, but also big wick on the lower side. So um, yeah, it will be lovely to see a pump in towards the monthly candle close here. Um, so... Uh, let me quickly uh, put this up here. So only two more minutes to go and we're touching the 39.8k here. Uh, absolutely lovely to be alive with you guys. So uh, let me quickly do a tweet here. Yeah, guys, uh, it looks to me that we're about to be breaking our range here. It looks to be that we are about to be breaking our range. What is looking very strong here. Uh, but, but yeah, Bitcoin is pumping in towards a monthly close. And that's definitely very bullish. <coughs> there's absolutely no way to lose right now if you buy. Uh, I mean, there's always a possibility to lose. But you only lose your valuation if you sell. And... I mean, if you're not going to, if you, if you accumulate them, I mean, I've been accumulating right now and I'm, I'm not going to be sell, selling right now. So, yeah, I think my chance of making a lo losing trade right now is very small. And it looks to me that Bitcoin is even going to be pumping in towards the last minutes of, uh, the last minute of this one hour candle close. And this one hour candle close is going to be looking very strong right here. Um, Do you think Russia is buying Bitcoin right now? I mean, we, we don't know. 
I mean, they probably are because their their values of the, the Russian uh, ruble is losing massively value, their stock market as well. So it would be making a lot of sense here. 39.6k seems key and guys this one hour oh my gosh guys we're pumping into our 40k so um we're currently trading against the 40k to be clear this is a very important level for bitcoin to be breaking here uh, if you have not been looking at it this could be signifying a massive market movement towards the upside this one hour candle close is going to be crucial for the next one hourly afterwards because right now it looks to me that we're losing some volume and losing some strength here but we're also not really getting a massive rejection right now in the market. So 15 more seconds to go here. To be exact, I don't think that this is a clear enough of a confirmation of a significant breakthrough on the top side. I want to be seeing the really that 39.9k close here, not that 39.8k close. But it is indeed a very solid candle because we're closing this candle higher than these previous highs over here in the market. Um, but we're literally still trading against our resistance zone here. So yeah, it is looking like a pretty bullish candle, but I want to be waiting for another confirmation on this break at right now on this one hour candle so it is looking good here if we do break above this range here you could be approaching it like an hand and shoulders pattern left shoulder right uh, head over here and right shoulder on the right side uh looking pretty strong if you would ask me and this could be of course leading towards more market volatility towards the upside and if you're going to look at the price target you're going to be aiming for a target around the and there it comes here around the 45 thousand US dollars what means that we're going to come back towards the higher sides on the market again here so it is indeed looking very strong here but like you can see we're currently seeing a minor rejection here i will be not really approach it um like a rejection and breakout or whatsoever yet but please wait for this one hour candle to show us a confirmation that we clearly did broke up above this level here we are trading against the 30 uh, 40 000 US dollars what is also a very strong psychological level of resistance and we have to see really a one hour close at least above it to uh, start screaming and to start going wild of course on this market but at the same time ethereum is just showing a lot of strength as well on this market and that is of course exactly what you want to be seeing um to be exact here guys in 58 minutes from now on so in uh, a small hour from now on we're as well going to then close the four hourly candle so um let me quickly as well analyze some four hourly charts for bitcoin because if bitcoin is well going to uh, close this four hourly candle bullishly uh, bullishly um that could be as well lead towards more continuation towards higher targets of course so um it's going to be absolutely very important to look at uh, what we're currently going to be experiencing on the market. Um, head and shoulders reverse will be, of course, lovely. Indeed, we can be as well approaching head and shoulders on the 4 hourly time frame, to be exact. Um, on the 4 hourly time frame, we're forming an even easier head and shoulders uh, to be trading. What you can see over here on the 4 hourly time frame, we're forming a left shoulder on the left side, hat on the middle, and the right shoulder on the right side. And we're currently about to be breaking out on this head and shoulders, guys. So, um... Beautiful head and shoulders we're currently getting created on the market. And let me quickly uh, post something on Twitter as well for you guys. Uh, left, uh, left shoulder. Uh, let me post this uh, on Twitter for you guys out there so I can keep everyone up to date here. We are always keeping you guys up to date on the market. Um, we're seeing as well right shoulder getting formed here. Right shoulder. And we are seeing a head getting formed. So we're forming an... Uh, a beautiful head and shoulder pattern actually and if we're going to look at the, really what the price target can be of this pattern we are going to be looking for an approximately 16 percent measured move towards the upside from the point of the breakout and that could be leading towards uh, sorry 12 percent uh 12.7 percent uh, breakout target towards the upside what can be leading towards targets around to 44 000 US dollars so let me quickly post this on twitter because i want to be keeping everyone up to date here while we are as well live on my twitter page also a reason to follow me on twitter what you can see right now in the bottom left side of the screen guys um uh bitcoin about to break out on it. so uh let me quickly um it's about to be breaking out on this head and shoulders pen and on the four early time frame so guys if you want to be of course uh, share this with your friends here while they are not watching or while they are on twitter but not watching the stream make sure to retweet this uh this tweet here and give it a like of course if you do think it's a good trade here and a good target to look at because hand and shoulders are typical reversal patterns and we can currently see that we're creating a very beautiful reverse structure to be clear to let's say not approach it like in hand and shoulders but let's let's approach it like market um market structure okay let's approach uh, approach this right now this chart as market structure okay we came from a downtrend here on the market we came from a downtrend 
then you form lower lows in the market, but you forming less exponential lows than you did in the beginning, of course, like you can see over here. Here we had an exponential low here, and then we create a less exponential low here. Then afterwards, you clearly see you are starting to form a higher low. So from a perspective of market structure, this is one of the most bullish market structures that you can see on the market. You see in a correction, the lows are getting less exponential while you are seeing it at the same time. You're seeing that the momentum is climbing again while price action is falling, not only on the RSI, but as well on the MACD here, what you can see over here. The moving averages on the MACD was creating a bullish confluence. We were creating a bullish divergence over here. Price action was dropping. Our, uh, MACD was, of course, forming higher lows here together with the RSI. So we were seeing a momentum divergence where we're seeing the price action creating a higher low structure on the market here indicating that we are starting an uptrend again we were breaking above previous highs on the market and right now we are seeing this trend line about to get broken that basically got is rejected every single freaking time on the market and if we're going to be breaking above this level over here we are going to indeed look very bullish on the market in my opinion because this is a typical reversal market structure and right now yeah, maybe on the one hour time frame, we have been seeing a little bit of bullish trends getting emerged, right? But here, we, this is a downtrend, and right now we're starting an uptrend. Uptrends can take way longer. We can see this trend maybe last for another, uh, let's say, um, 14 days, maybe another 10 days from now on. We could see the market still go up and move up in the upwards directory for another 10 days. If, and then it comes once again, the if, we break above this trend here on the top side if we do break above this level over here we are going to be looking for a longer period of bullish market structure because that is how trends emerge on the market and that is how you trade bitcoin you trade bitcoin with the flow you trade bitcoin with the momentum behind it and right now it is looking like it is creating bullish momentum and then you want to be stepping on the right side you want to be on the right side you do not want to be shorting this market if we are in bullish market structures and if the market is like the majority of the traders are already short, you do not want to be looking at short positions as well here. Because right now, what is literally happening here is that the shorters are covering the shorters. And it's not the longers that necessarily have to cover the shorters. No, the longers are getting to get, are currently getting paid to be in a, in a position to incentivize trades to go actually long here. But still, the majority of the traders still think we're going to come further down here. And that's why they're still shorting. They're still shorting this freaking market. So I am so bullish because I move against the general opinion. I don't like to go with the general opinion. And currently what we can clearly see, because the data is all public, and that is what I love about crypto and Bitcoin, people are still thinking the market is going to come down. The traders are still thinking the market are going to come further down here. And that's why I'm betting the other way around here. Um, if Putin today... Says he's coming to the table. Uh, yeah, if Putin, of course, is going to come towards the tab table to say, I want to have peace here, that long position is going to absolutely explode. And I totally agree. If, if Putin right now today, you know why? If Putin comes towards the table and says, okay, I want to have peace, you know, I want to have peace. Just if he says that. The market is absolutely going to explode. Why? It's because everyone is selling off their Bitcoin because they think because of the war, Bitcoin is going to zero. But actually, it is not. Why? It's because... People don't still get it, but Bitcoin is measured against the dollar. What are you going to need if we are in war? You are going to need dollars. So what is going to happen? The governments are not going to hike the interest rates. No, they're going to print more money because they need more money for army. So what will be happening? More dollars in circulation and everything that is measured against the dollar but can't get printed will be increasing in its value. So is Bitcoin actually a bad investment while at periods of war? Of course, historically speaking, we don't know because Bitcoin has never been through a war. Gold has been through a war. Gold always increased in value through wars. And right now we have Bitcoin. And I think that Bitcoin is a good investment. Um, I, I mean, I, it's absolutely terrible what's happening in the world. But Bitcoin is a good investment because Bitcoin is right now falling down here on the larger picture. On the imminent short term is, of course, increasing. The larger picture, Bitcoin came down massively. You get the opportunity to buy low again. And right now it's up to you to either take this take this opportunity or, of course, not take the opportunity. Um, let me see. Putin is not going to want peace. I'm, I'm very scared like he doesn't want to take peace, have peace as well here. I mean, I'm not saying he will be having peace with Ukraine, but it will be absolutely lovely if we are going to get some peace uh, in the world here because no one wants to have war here. Um, he's indeed a madman. 
Uh, no one knows what Pune will do. That's the truth. That's exactly true. That's why I said I'm not going to duplicitly speculate. I'm going to go out of the worst. And that is that we're still going to have war. And if there's still going to be war here, I still don't think Bitcoin is a bad investment. Um, yeah, he, he except maybe he himself. Man, I don't think he even knows what he's doing himself here. Get that man off, off his chair, man. He has to get locked in in prison. And uh, that's the best we can have right here. If we do break the 41k, we are going to look bullish. Uh, in my opinion, uh, the first step in the right direction is going to be the break above the 39.9k. Let's say 40,000 US dollars. If the one hour candle and together with the four hourly close as well will be even more perfect. And exactly in 15 minutes from now, we are going to get a four hourly close as well in the market. Um, we're going to close this uh, one and four hourly candle. If we do break above the 39.9k level, we're breaking uh, above key resistance on the market. So that is my point of confluence to be bullish or bearish uh, right now here on the market. Um, yeah, peace and freedom. No QR code. E exactly. There won't be peace unless uh, you... I mean, maybe they're going to be at this, like, this... this uh, their meetup, maybe Russia is going to say, if you're not getting, giving yourself over, we, we will be like, let's say, uh, drop nukes, you know? Maybe they're going to do weird stuff. So, yeah, it's it's going to be very scary what it's going to be playing out. Oh, yeah, 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 exactly. Ukraine... Got the like donated more than four thousand uh, bitcoins. So what is actually pretty interesting? What we can all do to help Ukraine right now here is just, let's say pump up the price. So shorters, get out of the market. Everyone who's shorting Bitcoin right now, get out of this freaking market because you're you're not helping Ukraine. <laughs> so uh, no, just kidding. But uh, indeed, if we are going to pump up the Bitcoin price here in the coming days, Ukraine will be having massive m massive advantages from it. Indeed. Because they got more than 4,000 Bitcoins donated. And if the value of a Bitcoin shoots up here, their value will be shooting up as well. Um, I think Putin has... I mean, everything Putin does, he has, a, uh, has something in mind, of course. So, indeed, yeah, it's going to be pretty interesting. It's going to be very important to to know what is going to be going on over there. Of course, our uh, we do know that Anonymous as well is uh, currently working against Russian governments to to make Russians aware about what he is doing because, of course, there's a lot of uh, manipulation. What is going on in terms of what the the Russians do know what he is actually doing? Because yeah, it's weird. It's weird. It's uh, no freedom in the country. So that's absolutely terrible. So yeah, it's going to be very important that uh, like the world is working together right now to. Uh, to get out. Yeah, uh, yeah, of course, shorters get out of the market. I mean, if shorters don't get out of the market right now, they probably will get eventually out of the market because they will get liquidated. So it's definitely... Uh, we're just def definitely waiting. What we can see is um, currently in all liquidations from the past four hours, um, an approximately rate from 80 to 90%, let's say 90% if we're taking an average, um, is all coming from short positions. So 90% of the leverage that got wrecked in the past four hours is coming from short positions. So... We're seeing more than approximately uh, 45 million. I can say 40 million for sure is getting from short positions right now in terms of the liquidation. So 40 million getting added in Bitcoin wealth uh, valuation from short positions. So yeah, a lot of shorts are getting to get squeezed out right now here. Um, more and more short enters, entries were here on the lower side here. So they will be probably get squeezed out as well anytime soon. So um, if we right now can see a continuation of this um, this movement up here. There are probably going to be even more and more liquidations left and right here. So Bitcoin still trading on 39.8k. It's actually still holding up pretty strong here. I was not necessarily expecting Bitcoin to straight around this level and really consolidate for such a long period of time. But it is actually showing a lot of strength here. So uh, it is looking pretty decent. We wait for confirmation. I mean, I've already got my position sorted out here, so I'm currently pretty okay. But if you really are looking for a trade here, um, if you want to be opening a long position right now here, I mean, I earlier today already told you guys what my strategy was here which in terms of trading. That's why you should subscribe to the channel here, because earlier today I dropped out the video about why a short squeeze is going to be very likely to occur in the coming hours. Um, so far, we have seen a minor short squeeze, but still think the bigger one is yet to come. 
But, I mean, opening a long position literally at resistance is one of the most terrible things to do. Because you can clearly see uh, we're trading against resistance. And if you're going to literally open a long position while trading against resistance, the risk that you're taking to, to get your potential rewards is so high. Um, what triggers... What triggers will you look at to enter a trade right now? Um, right now, yeah, like I told you, I am already in a trade on Ethereum. I am looking forward to... I'm also in a trade of Bitcoin, but I'm looking forward towards opening an extra trade on Bitcoin on my account here. Um, to, of course, swing the market up here. But what will be, for me, very important in terms of conf confirmations is, first of all, 4 hourly candle close, at least above the 39.4k. So, 39.7k, uh, I mean. So we're going to be breaking out bullish of this head and shoulders, inverse head and shoulders scenario on the far early time frame. Second of all, what I would love to see is a 39.9k or higher one hour candle close right now. Because that will be as well, give us a clear signal that the market is training above of this previous support and resistance zone right now here. And if we do see those confirmations coming together and the funding rate still staying negative till up that point here... That could be trigger me to, of course, open an extra position on the market. But right now, um, it is absolutely stupid if you're... I mean, I think the chance is very big that we're going to see a significant further increase. And Bitcoin absolutely going to skyrocket from this point here. Because everything is coming together right now, right? And actually, right now, we're already starting to go here. But... It is very likely to see the market going for it up here, but I mean, in terms of risk to reward, the, the risk is certainly very high on opening a position exactly on resistance. Yeah, your reward could be also very high, but currently it's just uh, very risky, of course, in my opinion. Um, let me see. So, market is moving up very, very strongly. Um... Let's see if we could uh, get the short squeeze. Yeah, it would be absolutely lovely if we could get it today. Let's see if we get... Yeah, I mean, I am... Um, I'm looking forward towards it. Yeah, you call... I mean, yeah, yeah you, what we have been doing basically on the channel, um, at least what I have been doing here, I've been stepping in towards some leverage long positions, of course, on the market, right? Um, on the recent days, on the recent weeks here. And I've been accumulating. I've been accum I've been stacking on my Bitcoins. I've been buying more and more and more and more. And Bitcoin is arching the 40k right now here, guys. I mean, it did just hit the 40k if I say it correctly. Guys, if we can get 300 likes on today's stream, I will be giving away 100 US dollars towards one lucky viewer, guys. Let's smash up the like button. Smash up the like button if you want to be seeing a very quick giveaway to you guys out there. Uh, the Bitcoin indeed. Got me close and close, and you guys are massively liking this uh, this tweet here. You guys, are absolutely amazing. Of course, guys, make sure to share this tweet of the head and shoulders with your friends and family um, if you want to keep them up to date as well about it. But Bitcoin and Ethereum already are starting to move up, making more than um, twelve thousand US dollars already with the straight here. We just took like two days ago here, so it is doing a very strong job. And I'm going to keep it open for probably a very long period of time. Um, I don't like Bitcoin pumping. I was waiting for 10k, and that's the problem. Too many people are waiting for too too low prices, and that's why we're moving up. 40k, guys! Yes, we reached it. Um, 40,000 US dollars. Congratulations! And I like you can see Bitcoin is moving. Um, Bitcoin, 40k. So Bitcoin is moving like crazy, guys. Holy cow! And of course, uh, 40 for 2k already. I mean, we're absolutely skyrocketing, guys. If you want to be sure, uh, I mean, I tweeted as well just a little bit. Oh my gosh, we're going 40.3k. So uh, it looks to me that we're breaking for resistance, and the short squeeze is really going to start picking up right now here. Um, the shorters are probably have to be exiting the market anytime soon here. Like you can see, 55 million li liquidations right now here, 80 to 90 percent. I mean, the, the, the average rate is right on 90 percent here, all coming from short positions. So. Like you can see, right now, 57 million US dollars already getting wrecked in the past four hours. 90% of those positions that are getting squeezed out there are all short positions. Money is flowing back in towards the market since those shorters are have to be co have to be covering the longers right now here. So it's looking pretty good here. Yeah, 40.2k. Yeah, absolutely lovely. 40.3k already. 40.4k already, guys. This is... Oh, okay, we're going right now. We're going... Uh, this is, of course, lovely to see. 2800 US dollar Ethereum as well just got reached there. Um, I mean, so far, it hasn't been going exactly like predicted. Just like I told you, I think the chance is extremely big that we're going to be breaching through of this range here. But 
the risk is still was there because you were opening a long position against resistance. But anyways, I totally love that we are currently seeing the market absolutely flowing up from here on. Um, I mean, if you're also really into trading, make sure to check out the link description. If you want to be accumulate still in the market, Bitcoin still trading below 41,000 US dollars. If you're still into buying Bitcoins below that range here, you can as well dollar cost average here on Bybit to spot buy crypto. So make sure to check it out. You will be as well get a 4,100 US dollar um, deposit bonus. So that's absolutely amazing to see, of course. Um, um, yeah, this is, this is beautiful to see. Yeah, the head and shoulders pattern is looking very good for a breakout right now, guys. If we're going to confirm uh, this 4 hourly close like this here, if this 4 hourly candle is going to be closing um, with a significant higher high in the market, we are looking so strong here. This market structure is so freaking bullish, guys. I mean, I've literally explained about how the market structure was looking a moment ago, literally like before we were having this insane pump here. Um, I mean, guys, as well, subscribe to the channel because early today, if you don't know already, I like dropped out the video on my channel discussing Ethereum, discussing Bitcoin, discussing the short squeeze that was very likely to occur on the market. This could cause a major short squeeze, but you can see over there the title. And we are currently seeing the short squeeze, but the market structure, it was very beautiful. And currently with this pump we're getting, it is even looking more beautiful to see this further increasement in strength and further increasement in the trend continuation getting started towards the upside. So I'm very happy. I'm still in this, uh, this long position on Ethereum. Um, Bitcoin is currently absolutely outperforming Ethereum massively like we can see here. But Ethereum is right now closing in towards its most critical and most important level and resistance zone to be breaking of course what you can see on the market major support here on the lower side major support getting found once again provided very strong support as well beautiful higher low getting started on the market looking very strong for a beautiful continuation even on towards higher targets but as well on ethereum we've seen this level providing resistance over here as well resistance and right now it looks to be that we're starting to be breaking above it and of course a break above of this range is absolutely going to cause a massive massive price movement for ethereum of an approximately another 13 percent here that's basically ethereum moves between these ranges just like every other asset and if we do break above this range over here previous support range previous resistance range and as well coming together with that here on the higher time frames this is a low volume range here so the chance of moving up in this range is way more significant because the consolidation in spirit has been all around the 2600 US dollar range and that why that was why it was such a good strong level of accumulation and that was why I'm so happy with accumulating my trades further on all around the 2600 US dollars so a break up of the 2800 and 20 US dollars with a 4 hourly candle close is absolutely going to cause an even further spike for ethereum towards higher levels around the 3200 US dollars again so I do look forward towards it and I'm absolutely looking yeah, forward towards the gains we're going to all make together on this market because the gains are going to be very high for everyone who did clearly bought this dip on the market. Uh, if we're quickly checking up on the daily time frame, how it is currently developing itself. Oh, this is looking very beautiful. Um, of course, what is going to be important right now for Bitcoin to do here uh, is eventually break above the previous high here, 44.5k. If we, if we can get a confirmation... Of, um, like I, I said it several times before on my channel, right? Um, if we break above the 48k, I think the bull market is going to be back here. I think we're going to go back in towards an exponential price surge range here. Right now, we're still 8,000 US dollars away from it. So, no, we're not quite there yet here. Uh, but we are seeing clearly the daily time frame confirming our thoughts of this double bottom, of course, right? You can see double bottom, higher low, uh, uh, higher low getting formed on the daily time frame, showing us. The strength is here on the market, showing us the bottom is most certainly, very likely, I should say, is currently in on the market right now here. Um, let me quickly check up still on how the funding rates are looking. Still negative, so there's still a lot of short money active in the market, indicating us that this is probably not everything we've seen. And let, oh, there we're going, 40.8k. And this is currently giving an, us an indication. Shorts are not all out of the market yet here, showing us... 
there's a very big chance we can even see a further increase in from of this range here and that we can even see further spikes towards higher levels from of this level with a right now trading on so um it is looking very strong for bitcoin it's looking very strong for the market and uh, guys if we can smash it up towards 300 likes on this stream i will be giving away 100 us dollars towards one lucky winner and you could literally buy the dip or you could long the dip whatever you want i mean the dip is already over but you could still accumulate it towards a cryptocurrency you you prefer of course so guys if we can smash it up towards 300 100 likes i will be giving away 100 us dollars towards one lucky viewer because we're going to pick that winner live on today's stream guys so make sure to smash it up like crazy right now here it will be absolutely amazing if you are going to do so um so uh, yeah make sure to smash up the like button if you want to see a small giveaway and uh, it's going to be absolutely amazing if we are going to see uh, this target going to get rich here and uh, it's always amazing feel always it feels always good to give something back to you guys that are the audience um so yeah smash up the like button it's absolutely amazing top of france welcome uh, to the stream again here is there any news about the war no currently we are not having any news about the war we do know there are ongoing discussions between russia and ukraine are they going to have peace we don't know i don't expect they are going to have peace because russia or putin at least i should say um definitely wants to have something at least in my opinion and he always got a plan so i'm not necessarily thinking the pump is coming because of that here but i personally think the pump is more likely to uh, that the pump is right now happening is because uh, sell pressure. Sell pressure is running out of the market. We can see it on on-chain data. Sell pressure is running out. And we do know that the holders on the market are always increasing in, cr in cryptocurrency and in Bitcoin. Um, there's been a significant uptrend. And the chance of um, of an inevitable growth here for Bitcoin is, is there. So uh, it is looking very good here. The ruble crash. Russians are buying Bitcoin. That is for sure true. Uh, we have seen, of course, the Russian... Basically, Russian citizens have lost more than 250 billion US dollars in the recent days here. Investors, I am talking right now about Russian investors, lost more than 250 billion US dollars since the stock market absolutely crashed. And right now as well, the ruben, the Russian ruble, against the dollar is losing massive value i will be quickly cut up that chart for you guys out there because if we're going to look at the russian rubble um we can see they are absolutely crashing and of course what is happening if you're losing all your value what are you going to do you're going to look at something that is keeping their value sticked uh and that is of course something that is scarce something that you can't get printed extra on and that is of course bitcoin or gold in this case because gold has been well seeing another further increase towards the upside but however, if we're going to compare Bitcoin towards gold, we can see that Bitcoin has been spiking approximately 7% against gold here on the uh, last two hours. Um, if we're purely looking to Bitcoin over here on the US dollar valuation, it has been, however, spiking also 7.5%. So Bitcoin not really uh, moving against the the, the, uh, the gold right now in the past two hours. Gold has been basically been stable in the past two hours. So uh, it's been pretty interesting, but... Uh, Gold is not really starting to be moving, but Bitcoin is. So maybe we are seeing indeed these classic investors really stepping in towards Bitcoin right here. And that is, of course, once again showing a sign of adoption here on the market. Um, so guys, do remember, if we smash it up towards 300 likes, we are going to give away 100 US dollars. So um, make sure to smash up that like button, guys. Make sure to smash it up right here. Uh, so many people are currently calling it a fake pump. I definitely think um, that is undeserved. Uh, we can see that the S&P 500 has been as well moving up here. So Bitcoin is definitely moving with it, um, with the classic, classic stock market up as well here. As well, stocks like Tesla are absolutely pumping right now. And you know what? Bitcoin is, is, is I think like, um, you got like Bitcoin usually pumps with innovation stocks here. Like Tesla, you know, Tesla right now moving up in a very rapid pace here. Just like Bitcoin is doing so as well. Uh, why is because uh, the hike of the interest rates is probably going to come a little bit later here. It was already priced in. So t stocks like Tesla are very dependent on the interest rates. Because if Tesla can borrow less money from the bank here, because they have to pay more back, uh, there will be less innovation. And Tesla is basically a stock that is purely based off um, future anticipation about what we think about the future, how it is going to look like, and just like Bitcoin as well here. So, uh, tech stocks are moving up. So, Tesla is moving up here. We can see NEO is as well moving up a little bit here. 5%, absolutely crazy, of course. Um, these tech stocks are moving up, and Bitcoin is moving up currently with the tech stocks. So, that is, of course, absolutely amazing to see, if you would ask me over here right now here. So, that is basically my confluence, what we currently can see. Bitcoin moving up with tech stocks, and uh, that is just showing in, uh, a sign of uh, of adoption and a sign of uh, strength on the markets right now here. Uh, S&P is down, yeah, S&P is down on 
the reason the S&P is down on the on the majority of the day here, but Bitcoin as well has been down first as well in the beginning of the day. But on the recent hours, since the market has been open and since the pre-market started, the S&P has been up here. So uh, please do know that. Okay, look at Pluton. I will be ch checking it out. Exactly, oil dropping. Yeah, we're seeing an um, we're seeing definitely an increasement in uh, tech stocks going up here. Technology stocks are going up. And Bitcoin is following currently those technology stocks right here. Um, so that is definitely looking very good. Guys, we're going to do a giveaway. I see we've reached 300 likes. I will give away quick 100 US dollars. What I will be saying here is that I'm going to do my giveaway on Twitter. I will be posting a tweet right now here on Twitter. And you only have to like it, retweet it, and follow my account on Twitter. And that is your entry. And then we're going to just pick a winner live on the stream. We're going to see who the winner is. And like you do know, guys, I do a lot of giveaways on this channel. This is not fake giveaways. So um, I will be quickly doing uh, just a very simple Bitcoin, hashtag Bitcoin with my eyes and this one added. And of course, the only thing you have to do, guys, to enter this giveaway is go towards my Twitter, retweet this tweet, like this tweet, and follow me on Twitter. And that is your entry for the giveaway. You can win 100 US dollars. We are going to give it away towards one one of you guys out there. And in exactly 10 minutes from now on, I will be picking the winner. So in exactly 10 minutes from now on, once the tweet is 10 minutes live, I'm going to go to a randomized picker. And yeah, we're going to see who's going to be the lucky winner today. Um, so hopefully we could be... Uh, could be so. Um, I mean, if you don't, have Twitter, I, I definitely recommend using Twitter. It's an absolutely perfect platform here. I absolutely love the platform, to be honest. And as well, guys, if you're like like want to be following me in tw on Twitter in general, it's very good. We are bringing a lot of good content about what the market is doing in terms of its development. So uh, make sure to check it out. It's going to be extremely valuable uh, to do so. It's just very valuable to do so. Very valuable to check out. Uh, so yeah, it's very easy to enter this giveaway, and we're going to literally pick the winner in ten minutes from now on. And, uh, yeah, I mean, I, I just love doing giveaways. I just love doing giveaways. They're just way too good. Um, choose me. I mean, it will be a randomizer, so I can't really choose who's going to win. <laughs> and so, uh, yeah, make sure to check it out here. It's a randomizer, so we don't have any. And which post? I, I, I pinned the post here in the live chat. I pinned it just a moment ago. This is the post. So the recent post on Twitter, you can see it over here. The most recent post on Twitter got 120 likes already. You guys are absolutely crazy in one minute time already. So the most recent post is going to be the one that we are going to be picking the winner from. So, uh, yeah, it's going to be absolutely amazing. So retweet, like, and follow, and that's your entry. It's very simple. And in the meantime, we're going to analyze Bitcoin real quickly about how it is currently performing. And we're going to quickly check up on Cointelegraph if they got some news out there. Um, Wall Street opens and sends Bitcoin to 40k loss price surge, passing the 6% here. Uh, signs that Bitcoin price actually could provide inv provide investors with a much needed silver lining intensity as the Monday trainings begin. So it is looking pretty strong indeed here. We saw a very beautiful Monday so far. Good beginning of the weekend here. And looks to be that funding rates are still negative. So still positive signs for Bitcoin to see even further growth on the top side. Um, so uh, yeah, looking forward towards how that's going to be expelled itself. As well, let me go over some altcoins right now, guys. Let me go over the um, Cardano because our altcoins right now absolutely are flying, of course. Uh, we can see Cardano uh, being up uh, towards 92 cents here. Currently is up 8% on the past uh, hours. So basically on the past 24 hours, it's been more than 10% more than up already. Um, but on the recent hours, we've been starting to be moving up an approximately 6.5%. Not outperforming Bitcoin, unfortunately. But on the course over the day, it has been outperforming Bitcoin. Um, doing a pretty good job here in terms of most critical resistance to be breaking. Um, it looks to be that we're breaking a downtrend here, like you can see. Cardano is forming lower highs on the market. These lower highs were, of course, indicating a lose, uh, yeah, losing amount of strength here. But right now, breaking above it could be, of course, uh, yeah, give us a signal that the market is going to show us some more strength here, and that the market is going to be most certainly see some more upside potential from of this point here. So that is definitely giving us as well a sign of strength from this point here. Um, so that's actually looking pretty good here. Uh, if we're then going to go further in towards the charts here, we can see Krone is not really performing that strongly. Uh, Krone's is the new name of Crypto.com here. Um, so Kronos uh, moving up here, also forming some kind of enhanced shoulders. We're forming a lower, first we're forming lower lows on the market right now in head, getting formed in the middle. 
right shoulder on the right side showing us that we are about to start an uptrend on the four early time frame indicating a lot of strength here as well xrp not really outperforming bitcoin but as well is showing signs of an higher low in the market right now showing signs of an increase in strength period is coming towards the market as well but mainly what we do know if bitcoin is going to be moving up in a positive way here it is going to be the altcoins that are going to follow bitcoin and most likely in a more rapid pace here so please do take that in consideration um, if we're going to look at VeChain, VeChain is up 4 and 5, 6% here today. This is also pretty decent. Um, and what is most importantly as well looking at VeChain right now here is that we're basically just like Bitcoin and just like 90% of the, all the other cryptocurrencies, they are forming the same market structures. We were in a significant downtrend. Then we are coming at a point where we're forming a low and a less exponential low. And at the same time, a momentum shift towards the upside on the momentum indicators. And from of that point, we're basically forming as well, again, a left shoulder and head and a right shoulder, confirming and showing us a head and shoulders is getting formed on the V-chain against US dollar chart. This shows us, of course, once again, an increase in sign of strength here for this market. And most certainly, a bullish period is awaiting if V-chain is going to be managing to break above the 5 cent barrier. That could be leading towards a lot of bullish price action coming back towards this market. Guys, as well, quickly repeating, we're doing a quick 100 US dollar giveaway and we are going to pick the winner in five minutes. Uh, sorry, that's 10. In five minutes, we're going to pick the winner. If this tweet here, Bitcoin, and then ICE, and then the chart up here is reaching the 10 minutes live uh, barrier, we're going to use a randomizer to pick a winner. How you do enter this giveaway is by liking this tweet, retweeting this tweet, and follow Rover CRC, my account that basically plays this tweet here. If you follow that account, that's your entry. That's uh, as simple as that. Very easy to do so. And uh, you could be participate in this giveaway right now here. But VeChain is looking very good. But that was a quick reminder for everyone who maybe just tuned in towards the stream here. And guys, let me know if we shoot as well after this giveaway. Do another giveaway. Because I love doing giveaways with you guys out there while you're watching. Um, as well, EGLD currently is starting to be moving up again here. Still is showing a significant decrease if we're going to compare to ethereum ethereum showed a lot of strength here but each of the wasn't here over the course of the remaining of the days here um each of the compared to bitcoin losing still some strength here from the highs uh, but currently looks to be forming some kind of a bottoming structure as well momentum is massively increasing on the market while price action keeps dropping off here showing as well signs of a bottom is very close right here um, Solana, of course, absolutely skyrocketing today here, 11% up right now here. We saw a significant downtrend getting created on the daily time frame. Looks to be that we're breaking it and a little bit, uh, being a little bit insignificant of it. But how I should be rather approach Solana right now here is that we were training in some kind of an, um, in some kind of a falling wedge structure. And this falling wedge structure looks to be breaking it right now here. Could be having some more bullish price section for Solana waiting for us. I don't really believe that Solana is going to reach the ultimize anytime soon here. But I do believe that Solana can still see a, a significant price increase towards the upside. But I don't expect to see Solana really trade back at ultimate highs here. And if we're going to do so, we're probably going to fall very hard here because Solana was a little bit of a flop here because Solana is not really decentralized in my opinion. I mean, it's not decentralized, I can say. And I don't necessarily think it's the, the future competitor of Ethereum. And it's really going to be the beater of Ethereum. Because if you compare it towards the daily time frame, it has been only as well losing valuation against Ethereum. While well, Bitcoin is continuing its rally towards the upside, guys. Absolutely lovely. Can we reach the 41k today, guys? Let me know in the chat. Can we smash it through 41,000 uh, yeah, for Bitcoin, uh, for uh, Ethereum? Sorry for Bitcoin, I mean, excuse me. Can we beat it? Let me know, guys, uh, what you think of it. Uh, it's going to be absolutely crucial if we could see a uh, movement above it. It will be lovely, of course, to see if we can break above this range right now here. Uh, could be leading towards uh, more volatility and more bullish price action because 41,000 US dollars is also a pretty crazy level for Bitcoin to be breaking. Um, if we're going to talk about the Bitcoin chart for a second from here on still. Why do I think it's a crazy level to be breaking here? Like you can see on the daily time frame, um, we've been looking towards this, um, sorry, on the four daily time frame, we've been looking towards this range here where we previously ran found, found support, uh, support as well over here, rejected over here, and if we break above it, we are basically back in towards this upward strength here. Uh, what I've said basically as well here is, um, if I'm going to look towards my four hour chart here, and let me get my four hour chart in towards the screen here, 
That is my daily chart. Let me see. Where is it? It's always a mess here. So this is my four hour chart. If we're going to be really break above that 48.3k target here. Um, I mean, I should say 51k actually. But if we break about the 48k target, we basically already are going to confirm on the largest kill once again. And higher time frame, uh, higher time frame uptrend here. That's going to be very bullish. And we could be looking for a higher time frame W structure. Of course, on the daily time frame, you're going to see it easier. Um, if you're going to pick the daily time frame. Uh, wait, uh, I'm messing around here. If you're going to pick the daily time frame, you're going to see it easier. We're going to look for daily W structure, which is going to be looking very bullish. Um, but most certainly, if we do break above that 51.8k range here, um, we are going to see basically the bull market being back for Bitcoin. In my opinion, I've said it several times before, the bull market is going to be back if we break that 51.8k range, because then at that point here, we breach through all the downtrend structures, and, and from that point, we can officially confirm we're back in towards a bull market territory. And from that point, the market can go easily go exponential again. So I'm looking forward towards it. Um, short to 42k, be my guess, man. I am going to be casually longing this market for on. But guys, right now, I see this tweet is 10 minutes. Oh, wait, it's 9 minutes live here, so I got one more minute to go here. Um, so you can still enter this trade, uh, enter this giveaway, 100 US dollar giveaway. You only have to retweet this tweet. You have to like it and follow me on Twitter. If you do so, you are participating in this giveaway. What well, we are going to literally pick the winner off in the stream live in one minute time from now on. Um, <laughs> why a lot of fat here? I don't know. I, I see so many people still being so bearish, guys. Let me let me put up a poll here. Um, what happens first here? Let me, let me, what happens first? Let me quickly ask you guys, um, is it going to be 40,000, uh, sorry, is it going to be 50k or is it going to be 30k from all this point? So right now we're exactly in the middle point, guys. Make sure to vote on my poll because I'm very interested about what you guys currently think of it. Bro, for could this be a bull trap? I would rather say, could this be a bear trap? Because on the larger time frames, we are in very bearish market structures and right now we're forming a bullish continuation structure with a higher low in the market with higher highs. So we are looking like we are in a very strong period of the market where we can see in yeah longer period of time bullish continuation and actually on the daily time frame guys how many times do i have to say this we are looking so freaking bullish on the daily time frame because we're confirming a higher low literally right now and with this pump we're confirming that the bottom of this this low has been in and that is confirming the thoughts of me that we are indeed forming a higher low with a potential scenario where we're going to see a w structure getting played out for the bitcoin market what will be then in the end of the day going to lead towards more price action towards the upside so it's looking very good um so let's see what is going to be happening guys uh, i'm actually pretty bullish i think 50k is more likely to see happening first before 30k but right now we're going to pick the winner i was even one minute too late guys so if you're very quick still uh, you can maybe still participate in the giveaway retweet like and follow me on twitter absolutely easy to do but let me go to giveaway picker for twitter and i'm going to pick a very quick winner who is going to win the 100 US dollars so uh you have to follow the rules so you have to follow my account here uh i don't care if you have these kind of things here and this so what we're going to do we've got more than 207 entries the people that did participate it correctly and even a scam account so please be careful if, if the scam account wins here you will be not get picked here see a scam account is there guys be, please be careful there's only one real rover crc and as well on instagram there's only one real crypto rover yt here there are so many scammers but this is the winner kevin s7 congratulations with your giveaway here you indeed follow me like you can see and you retweeted to tweet and that's why you're the winner right now so i will be quickly sent you a message and i will be sent the funds after the stream here uh hey bro I just sent you, hey bro, you are the winner, Kevin, congratulations, and guys, if you want to be seeing me doing another giveaway, let me know in the chat right here, because maybe I can set a goal for you guys out there, and we can do even another giveaway right now here. Um, <laughs> Amir, welcome to the stream here, it's good, Rover, let them be bearish, I mean, that's why, I mean, there's so many people saying bearish stuff in the, in the, in the chat right now here, and I mean, I do get it why a lot of people are saying bearish stuff here, because I can literally see it, on this chart in front of your screen right now, guys. These are the funding rates, and we can still see that there are more bears than bulls in the market right now. Maybe the poll um, on our stream is a little bit more bullish, but that's why I think my audience is also a little bit more smarter. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we can still see that the majority of the market leverage is still training short here. So if you're really bearish, you are leaning with the majority of the people. You're leaning with the majority of the uh, general opinion. So yeah, let's see what we're going to have here. But uh, it's a fact that if you're being long-term bullish about Bitcoin, you are going to be making the most amount of profits. So, um, yeah, even though we saw a significant pump of an approximately, let me see this correctly, 
We saw an approximately pump of 7.5% here on the raised hours, and the fitting rates are still negative. So there is more short leverage getting added along the way up here. What is making it pretty tricky for those shorters right now in the market? Because this market could even go further on here, guys. Because on 60 minutes from now on, we're going to confirm the breakout. We could be potentially indeed look for some kind of a retest right there afterwards, right? It's not going to be bad. If we're going to get such kind of a structure, it's not going to be bad here. Because we're literally retesting previous resistance into support so if we're going to come down afterwards i am going to be very bullish i will be definitely try to add more towards my training positions actually so if that happens i will be probably get a lot of messages from these bears ha <laughs> i told you so mark was going to come down but at that point we're just making a retest um so that is actually not going to be all too bad here if it's going to happen but the chance of even further continuation up here is going to be likely it is not necessarily that bitcoin is running in towards a, a momentum st st bitcoin still has a lot of momentum and still has more room to grow. So, could easily go uh, towards 42k today here in one straight line here. Uh, give away the new ultimate. My guys, I'm going to... Tr I mean, I told several times before, if Bitcoin goes below 20k, I will give away a whole Bitcoin. But I said that because I know I will never have to give away that Bitcoin. You know, I can say these things. No. But yeah, if Bitcoin ever comes below the 20 times US dollars, yeah, I will give away a whole Bitcoin. But it will be probably never happen. And I mean, if it really comes down below that 20k barrier, I don't even care anymore because then I'm going to absolutely do it because then 20k is way cheaper than 40k, you know? So it's different. It's different. Um, but right now, I'm still very happy that uh, I have been successfully accumulating in this dip so far and I'm definitely going to try to do it further on. Of course, guys, if you are still interested in trading this market or spot trading or leverage trading, Check out Bybit in the link description. Bybit is your best exchange to use right here. Uh, it is the lowest fees currently uh, because if you're signing up for my account, you're going to get a fee off. Plus of that, you are going to get a 4,100 US dollars deposit bonus uh, in your bank. Of course, make sure to check it out. It's going to be very valuable right now to sign up your account and set up your account in these periods where we are seeing so many bears because that is why I'm so successful with trading right now. I'm trading against these bears here and that is why we are making tons of money here. Um, so yes, make sure to check up, make sure to check it up right now here, uh, set up your account that you could be making good profits right here. Um, so yeah, looking actually pretty decent. Yeah, big Bitcoin is, it's doing just the casually, it's Bitcoin thing here. It's good. The casual Bitcoin move. Um... Yeah, you know what the, what the problem is with Bitcoin? It takes the stairs up and the elevator down usually. Um, so, I mean, you, you were saying Bitcoin just needs to go slow up. But, I mean, this is definitely slow pace for Bitcoin. Um, this is how Bitcoin moves here. Um, like, like it just moves in the normal waves here. It always moves with these, these 6 or 7% pumps here. Because at that point, if you're making such a huge step in one direction, you're squeezing out a lot of short positions. And that's exactly what we want here, of course. Um, fear and greed index, uh, out on extreme fear. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, we're still in extreme fear guys. So I do remember that we're in extreme fear periods. And it's also making me pretty bullish, you know? Uh, I'm opening along in the retest. That's exactly what I will be trying to do as well. Um, I will be as well to try to open an extra long position on the retest. Uh, check out Pluton, uh, reward super the coming March. That's absolutely pretty cool. We'll be checking out them in a moment. Uh, man, my man, can you please explain why the inverse Henry Scholes on the one day is irrelevant? Um, have I said that? I didn't, right? Uh, but I mean, Henry Scholes on the daily time frame is not really playing out anymore. There has been one potential scenario of a Henry Scholes playing out, um, but it didn't broke out. Like, we were looking at a Henry Scholes scenario over here. Left shoulder, head, right shoulder. But what I always tell to you, we're not going to look at the pattern if it's not breaking out anymore. So, uh, this pattern did not even broke out. It retested, was about to be breaking out, but then it fell, of course. It was not even breaking out yet here. It just got rejected. That's what happened. So, that's why I don't look at it. It got rejected, and right now we're looking at the next pattern. And that could be my real next trade here, my real next play here on the market, is going to be this structure over here that we're going to look at. We're going to be looking at a structure where the market is forming an W structure. And this W is going to be a beautiful trade to take on the market. And this is going to be a beautiful movement that I want to be getting here up and, up and trading. Because this is going to be a beautiful W. And a more beautiful W is basically now existing. We're forming a higher low on the market together with the horizontal neckline uh, of the W. 
and that is beautiful. That's exactly what you want to be seeing in a beautiful, uh, in a, in a beautiful W structure and a good trading scenario to be taking. And we are as well going to be breaking out from all this point here on the head and shoulders on the four early time frame, what is also looking pretty bullish here. Um, we're looking for a 12.8% increase from the point of the breakout. What is massive? Price targets are around 44.6K here. It's absolutely amazing to see here. So yeah, looking very strong for the market. And I can't wait to see what we are going to go towards from of that point here. Uh, but it is looking very, very decent for me to be trading this one towards the upside here. I am, uh, I am looking forward towards what we're going to get here. Uh, I am definitely going to try to take tr uh, long positions towards the upside from of this point here. Um, so yeah, like I, uh, like I already tweeted about, um, it's a, it's about to break out, and this is a good trading opportunity that you do have on the market right here. Um, so yeah, let's see what we're going to get here. We are indeed looking pretty bullish here, indeed. Nothing bad about Bitcoin currently is playing out over here, I would say. But yeah, still congratulations to uh, Kevin S here that uh, one. Um, so I will ask you for your Bitcoin address to where I can make your the funds over for you to to win the giveaway. Um, do you still think? Do you think we still need a spring? What do you mean with a spring, <laughs> Jason Clark? Tell me. I called a W last week. Amir, I know. I mean, Amir, we were on the stream and you told me about it. And then I was thinking, oh, yeah, we could be looking for a very beautiful W. So, indeed, we're going to be waiting right now. Rover, what are your thoughts on Algorand? Uh, let me quickly check up on Algorand for you over here. <coughs> Algorand, oh, man, beautiful structure. Uh, I mean, actually, like, like I told you already, 90% of the altcoins are looking the same as Bitcoin. 90% of the altcoins are looking the same as all other altcoins. And Elgrand is doing the same right here, right? So you can see we came from a massive downtrend. Then you're forming a low and less exponential low here. Then you're forming a uh, yeah, left shoulder head and right shoulder. Basically, I mean, you you don't necessarily have to call it an inverse and shoulders. You can basically, like, like it's it's called an inverse and shoulders because it's a typical reversal pattern. You're first forming lower lows in the market. And then you're forming out of nowhere and higher low in the market. Showing and getting rejected by the same neckline. Showing as soon as you do break the neckline point here, you're going to create more bullish market structure. So, um, yeah, inverse and initial is getting created. Typical bullish bias reversal market structure um, could be leading towards a very good continuation towards higher targets. Algorand looking very strong. I can take a long position on Algorand if we do break the 86 cents here. And what, what targets we're then really going to look at is going to be a breakout target of an approximately 15 to 17 percent here towards the upside, bringing Algorand back towards one dollar. So, yeah, big opportunities here. Good uh, high, low risk, high reward trades here, which you can right now take here on the market. You can trade a lot of these altcoins if the market is, of crypto is going to be moving, Bitcoin moving up again. These altcoins are going to be, be very volatile and as well move the market up and down very rapidly. So look forward towards what we're going to get from this point. But Algorand is right now showing indeed a very good opportunity to take a trade, potential trade here on the market right now to... Uh, to tr to try to write this trade to try to write the market back towards higher levels, basically I can say. So it is looking actually pretty decent, yeah. Algorand is looking very decent right now, and it is showing us a very good trading setup, potential trading, potential trading setup, I should say. So uh, I am looking forward towards where it is going to go towards. Um, sorry for the spam. I don't know what you're saying. Uh, oh, please don't spam, man. That's not. I appreciate it, but you did it two times. Okay, I see it for the for the fingers right now. Well, for a question that I have for a long time, uh, you said you would close your long position when the filling rates were getting high. Um, why would you do that if there's not a chance for a potential high profit? Because the risk is increasing on that point here. Um, if the filling rates are going to go positive, extremely positive, I mean, they can say neutral. If they're neutral, I'll keep my trade open. If they're extremely positive, I will be going out of it. Why? It's because I learn from uh, things that happen in the market, right? I will show you real quickly what I am basically talking about. Once the fund, this is one, the funding rates are neutral here, right? Neutral, neutral. This is negative. Negative shows us um, that it is good times for accumulation, just like we saw in September over there. But as well, on market t peaks and market tops here, we're seeing very high funding rates, meaning that the majority of the traders are trading long. And that is a point. Once everyone is trading long, you don't want to be in long positions because the chance of a long squeeze is extremely high. So the chance of you losing your value of your long position is also very high. So as soon as the market is going to pump up here and the funding rates are going to spike up as well, I'm going to exit my trades here. That is just how I play it because it has to be... 
worth it to be taking your trades off. And right now, the, the funding rates are so negative and people are still freaking sure in this market. Well, this is one of the biggest bottom signals and one of the biggest long signals we've seen in approximately eight or seven months. And the last time we saw it, it was September 2021. So it's for me, once again, an easy play. For me, it was an easy, quick money we can make from off this trade. And that's why I'm doing so. Um, so uh, that, that's just how it works here. Uh, and that's how I will be training it. There's going to be correction. Yeah, of course, there's going to be correction. Uh, but it's going to be right now. It's going to be correction. Uh, there's always going to be correction. So that's a little bit stupid to say. Um, how should you enter? I mean, for right now, if you want to be looking for the low least amount of risk here on Bitcoin, um, you really want to be entering on a retest. And such kind of a retest could be occurred around the 39.7K here. But do we necessarily have to come down? No, not necessarily. But if we're going to go and see a retest on the next few hour candles, I will be most certainly look to enter around the 39.7K or 40,000 US dollars, basically. It's going to be a very strong level for accumulation and very strong level to enter long positions, basically, on the market. That is just going to be a very strong range here where you should be take your uh, your approach towards and where you should be yeah put your focus on as well. This is the same as buying the dip for shorters. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty funny. Uh, broader Bitcoin volume is increasing. That's true. I'm just chill because I'm holding long term. I mean, that's that's also a thing to do. If you're holding long term, there's no reason to stress. You literally have zero stress. But like, this is my work. I I I'm like trading is for me. This is how I make my living. Like, uh, and that's for me very important. So for me, I have to take trades because like, I can show you from like YouTube advertisement money is not really where you become rich from. <laughs> Uh, that's absolutely terrible, of course. I mean, it is pretty good. I mean, I wouldn't be like, uh, I make a lot of money from YouTube advertisement, but like, not enough, you know? It's like 3,000 US dollars a month here. I don't, I don't care. I just say it because I have nothing to hide. You know, I show trades as well here. Um, but yeah, it's it's pretty good. It's pretty decent. But for me to really make a living I, I and for me to be wealthy and of course to travel a lot, I have to trade. Uh, nope, there's... Nope doesn't always retest that you're lying. Of course, it doesn't necessarily have to go for the retest, uh, Benji. That's true. But um, I would love to see a retest. That's what I basically want to be saying. I would love to see a retest because uh, it will show me the strength of this level. And besides that, I could be opening an extra position. I definitely want to be having that. Uh, I hold long term, so this is pure entertainment. And I mean, I mean, I'm also a long term holder. So that's why I've been buying up this dip here several times. I've been buying and scooping up more Bitcoins. Uh, more Ethereum's, more altcoins in this dip uh, because I'm benefiting from it rather than uh, yeah giving it away. Is your giveaway over? Yeah, we picked the winner already um, like 60 minutes ago. So you can go a little bit back into the stream. If maybe you are the winner, maybe you're not. I don't know, <laughs> but you have to check it up uh, if you want to be seeing who the winner is. Um. Oh ships! I by accident. Close to very important. Oh, Bitcoin is going further, guys. Um, we're trading on 40.8k already. I mean, guys, can we see the 41k today? It will be absolutely amazing if we can see that. If we can see the 41k, it will be truly amazing. That's absolutely a crazy target to reach here. Uh, well, we were just early today trading on 37k. I was not really expecting it necessarily. Of course, we were waiting for short squeeze, and right now we're finally seeing it. I mean, this is one of the most significant moves we have seen in... Uh, Let's say approximately um, the, the past three days here. So it is definitely very exciting to see here. 41k, we're closing in. 49k, we're already trading on it. Um, we are definitely closing in right here. We are closing in right now. Uh, so while I was just asking you guys, are we going to see it? We are literally seeing it right here. So that's that's pretty epic. Hit up the like for more TA, guys. Yeah, make sure to smash up the like button. Only six likes to go for 400 likes. Guys, let's smash it up towards uh, at least that 400 like target, guys. Uh, only six of you guys... Um, I have to smash it up right here, and if you can smash it up right now, it will be truly appreciated. The 42k will be a big level. Um, 41k is also a pretty big level to be breaking above here, like I showed you guys already earlier today. But 42k is definitely going to be as well a major target of resistance uh, on the market to keep our eyes wide open on. So, uh, yeah, we, we were... Uh, 
Definitely prepared for this. With a daily close above the 39k, is uh, going to signify so many bullishness to come back towards the market. But basically, you can see we're breaching through our green zone right now. And our green zone has been our previous resistance zone in the market and previous support zone in the market. So breaking, breaking above this range of ears is definitely showing a lot of bullishness. Smash up the like, yeah, guys. Smash it up. Should I sell my Cardano? I mean, I... Well, I don't know. You have to make it up your... Do your own research. Um, I'm not really going to give an answer on that one. Uh, make sure to do your own research. Please don't spam Ross Palmer. Come on. I will go for Pluto for a second, but... Please don't, don't, please don't spam in the chat. That's terrible. But yeah, it's a, yeah, it's, we're seeing a very short-term bounce here. Not necessarily something special. It's still trading on our support zone, so that is actually looking pretty good. But just like all my other altcoins I'm holding, um, we're seeing a pretty good bounce today here. But that's purely because Bitcoin is as well moving up here today. So that's actually looking good. A week is like a year in Bitcoin. Was for Yeah, well, I mean, 46k was not a while ago, indeed. Um, last time we traded on 46,000 US dollars... Uh, uh, what I mean? Oh wait, 46k was was quite a while ago, like 50 days ago. That's quite a while here. I would love to visit again. I would love to see uh, the 46k getting visited. But today's daily candle close is going to be as well very important because Bitcoin is pumping in towards the monthly candle close. Actually, guys. So um, in exactly eight hours, the monthly candle will be closing for Bitcoin, and a, a pump in towards the monthly candle close is actually a pretty good thing to see here. Uh, so yeah, but Bitcoin is showing a lot of strength here right now. In towards that monthly candle close. And we're literally say oh wait guys, by the way, I was not even prepared for this, but we are right now seeing a four only candle close. Uh, and this is of course a beautiful one. This is absolutely a beautiful one. We're seeing a four only candle close um with the inverse and the shoulders breakout. We're seeing a four only candle close with a one hour breakout as well over here. We are looking very strong here. So uh, congratulations guys, we just uh, broke out here. And let me do a quick tweet about it here because I think this is very important to uh, to talk about. Um, Bitcoin confirms the and shoulders breakout. Uh, so let me quickly tweet about it so I can keep everyone up to date. Even though you're not watching, guys, make sure to follow me on Twitter because on Twitter, guys, you are going to get all these other details. Uh, about the market while we are not live here or while we are live uh, as well while we're not live guys so make sure to uh, will be absolutely amazing if you're going to be uh yeah retweet the sweet show it to your friends oh and bitcoin is even pumping for the guys right now so it will be absolutely amazing if you're going to like the tweet here if you want to be uh if you appreciate the content and of course retweet it with uh if you want to be showing it to your friends as well definitely very very valuable if you're going to do that as well there so uh yeah confirming the handy shoulders breakout um, looking definitely very strong right here. Um, exciting. Very exciting what we're currently having here. And what we're currently seeing. So head and shoulders are breaking bullish. And that's exactly what you want to be seeing in this period of the, of the, of the market right now. That's exactly what you want to be seeing. But anyways, guys, um, right now we confirmed the four-hourly breakout. We confirmed the one-hour breakout. I will be, unfortunately, and I'd hate to do it, and I hate to bring it always, but I have to... Oh, wait, where's my camera going? Okay, my camera was not working, my other camera. We'll be fixing it off the stream, guys, for the next time. All right, but guys, right now, I hate it, but I have to head out here. I have to stop the stream right now. What I will be asking you guys is to check out my socials in the link description. Instagram and Twitter, very important to check out. Follow me over there to stay up to date about all the market developments. And as well, while you're right now watching here on YouTube, smash up that follow button. Smash that subscribe button. Is it still red here? Make it white. I think it will become white if you press it. And as well, while you're down there, smash up the bell notification button. Because we are always going to go live once we're seeing a very big movement is awaiting or a very big moves is coming, coming up there. And we will be just discuss the market live with you guys out there. So guys... We just are about to smash through to 41,000 US dollars. That is absolutely crazy to see. Thank you so much for tuning in towards the stream here. I loved it today. I will be back tomorrow or even later today here. I have to go out right now for one hour. Then I will be back here on my desk. So I will be trying to, of course, keep you guys up to date the best as I can, like you can, uh, can expect from me. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace out. Goodbye.